Welcome to day four at a very wet Paris air show. No wonder then that today's wrap program will be spent mostly in the halls and pavilions with exhibitors from all around the world sharing their different concepts and ambitions. The industry's drive towards sustainability is clear and the development of new forms of advanced air mobility is apparent throughout the sites. Here in Hall 5 you can see the incredible growth of EV toll platforms all in one place. Getting over the technology hurdles is also giving established aerospace companies the chance to innovate. TE Connectivity has developed a range of lighter advanced interconnects and cabling that will make a significant contribution to weight reductions in UAM aircraft. So when we talk to our customers about what they're looking for with our components, weight is a huge importance and some of our customers really are trying to shave grams off our, off our cables, off our connectors, looking for every single opportunity to fly further with more people. Although an essential part of the air transport sector, business aviation is in the targets of the protesters and those concerned about sustainable aviation. Well, we're with somebody now who actually has a great solution. LORG Town, you have got something that the business aviation world is calling out for. Tell us about what Beyond Aero does. Yes, thank you. Beyond Aero is building an electric private jet. It's a five to eight passenger, so about six seater, able to fly on 1,500 kilometers. It's an electric aircraft because the engine are electric, but it's not lithium batteries. It's powered from fuel cells. That means from hydrogen. It's gas hydrogen that it will be able to provide the electricity. One project that is even cleaner, cheaper and reaching new heights can be found at the far end of the show site, where the Solar Stratos made its debut. Eco-explorer Rafael Domian is aiming to fly his to the stratosphere using solar-driven battery power to demonstrate how far the new sustainable solutions can reach. We have uh, 22 square meters of solar cells. We can provide about 6 kilowatts, so when we fly on a normal flight, no, when we climb it's not really possible, but when we fly on a normal flight, we can fly only with the power of the sun. It's not all new ideas though. UK exhibitor Arc Aero Systems is showing a nine-seater VTOL, which has its heritage in a three-seater gyrocopter design from the 1960s. Arc bought the rights and are using the already certified technology to bring the competitor to helicopters to market. Another great bit of legacy reinvention came from Deutsche Aircraft, who are introducing the D328 Echo with 25% more capacity than the 28-seat Dornier 328 regional turboprop, promising a 14% decrease in fuel consumption and significantly more comfort. What we actually did to this aircraft, uh, so this is a new model, this is not a clean sheet aircraft, which is a extremely important comment, I think, to make again and again. Uh, this is derivative from the previous type, so it's, it's stretched a little bit, so we add 25% of the capacity, so this is a 40-seater turboprop. We add a brand new propulsion system, Pratt & Whitney 127 XTS, as I mentioned already before, Garmin G5000 Avionics, uh, six-blade uh, uh, composite propeller, and a lot of other new elements, and we basically make the brand new, the technologically advanced prop, uh, bringing it to the market in Q4 2026. And as the rain has stopped, we'll be getting ready for tomorrow's programme. Looking at some of the highlights, we'll see you then.